The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Eric Davis and Eric is El Presidente for Old Spanish Days Fiesta. Welcome, Eric. Well, thank you for having me on, and thank you for doing the show. It's great to value to the public. And oh, God. Great to showcase our nonprofit organizations here in Santa Barbara, so thank you. We have so many wonderful ones, don't we? Yes, we sure do, and you, you showcase them, and we air them here on uh, TVSB, so thank you. Yes, and so El Presidente, so what is that going to look like? What are you going to be doing? Oh my gosh, it sounds very exciting. It is very exciting, yeah. It's, it's been, a, been a long time. I've been a, a volunteer with the organization for over a decade. Over a uh, decade? Yeah, both my wife and I have been active board members for, for quite a while. And it is super fun. Um, as El Presidente, uh, there's a few things that you get to do. You get to choose the theme. Oh. You get to create the poster. You get to kind of put your stamp on some of the events. Oh. So. It's a, it's a big task, uh, and then you make a lot of appearances, too, um, all kinds of uh, events, and it's, it's going to be a, a big year, big year. Oh, gosh. That's exciting. So you're going to be a busy boy. Absolutely. Yeah, it's already starting. I, I think our next event is the uh, holiday parade. We have two of them coming up, the Santa Barbara one, which will have a trolley entry in with our whole board. Uh, and then the uh, downtown Goleta uh, holiday parade, too. So, yeah, the, it's already starting. So did I hear you say 150 appearances or something like so, that? It's over 100. I, I, a lot. I, don't, I don't have a it lot. put together the calendar. But, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Everybody, um, you know, it's, it, this is a 96-year-old tradition here oh. in Santa Barbara. Okay. Um, so there are a lot of uh, things that go on, not just with the, the Old Spanish Days organization and the events, but you know, general appearances with all kinds of uh, yeah, other organizations, nonprofits, partnerships that we have, collaborative partnerships. So, yeah. It's, okay, it'll so really Old Spanish grow. Days collaborates with a lot of other organizations. They do, organizations. yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a real boon to this town. Um, you know, the economic impact is staggering when you, when you think of what it brings in terms of tourism with the, uh -huh. all the subcategories of uh, the dance studios and you know, the musicians and everybody that, oh. that has a, a part of uh, Old Spanish Days. And all the horses. All the horses. Isn't that the most beautiful oh, thing? Oh, gosh, yes. That Fiesta Friday when you have, yeah. you know, hundreds of horses in that parade, some beautiful horses. And, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's definitely one of the, the signature events. Gosh, so, so as El Presidente, how do you think, in addition to all these hundred-plus uh, appearances, how do you think you'll be spending your time? Oh, right now we're, it's a lot of time in the in the planning uh, okay. stages. So, you know, we are we only have one full time employee at, and it's put on by um, a board of directors, a volunteer board of directors. Oh. So, you know, such a, a big event takes so many man hours, and and right now, you know, we're putting together budgets, we're looking at committee mm. assignments, you know, we're looking to kind of uh, review and improve. Uh, each and every venue and event that we have. So right now, it's a lot of the planning stages, especially on the, the budgetary and, and committee, committee sides. And then, um, and then in the spring, we'll, we'll start gearing up with uh, our incredible events, starting with the Spirit of Fiesta auditions uh, yeah. earlier in spring. So where does the funding come from? So that's a really good question. Um, it, we have great partners with the uh, City of Santa Barbara who provides funding. Oh, um, that's great. We have great partnerships with the County of Santa Barbara mm -hmm. and really all over. But uh, a lot of it is uh, we have to do a lot of fundraising. You know, it's a, it's a big role for us. I think a majority of it comes from our fundraising. Now we, we try to have our events have uh, a fundraising component to them. Mm. But there are a lot of free events that we have to put on for the community. There are. Um, like the parade is a big, big endeavor, yeah. um, and that's completely put on because of Old Spanish Days. Uh, the dancing at the courthouse, which takes place three nights a week, 
a completely free event for the community. Yeah. Uh, the two Mercados are big undertakings, but those again, you know, at Del Norte and at De La Guerra, yeah. those are free events open to the entire community. Yeah. And then opening night, Fiesta Pequeño, when they light up the mission and yes, dance. Yes, oh my gosh. That's, that's so another cool. event that's free to the community. So yeah, we, we have to, we do a lot of fundraising. We have some signature fundraising events. But um, yeah, we could always use the support of, of the community because it is a huge undertaking. And like I said, we put on a lot of events that are free and open to the public. So of course, you have a website. Yes, we do. And so a person could go on there and figure out how to volunteer, what they would be doing. They could probably make a, fi can they make a financial donation? Absolutely, okay. yeah, it's sbfiesta.org. And this is kind of giving season. So, you know, if you want to have become a sponsor or make a, a tax deductible donation. Yeah, yeah be a it's, sponsor, it's, it's, that's good. Sponsorships are, are incredible. We have some really nice, packages that get your whole company involved with uh, Old Spanish Days. And a majority of our sponsors return year after year oh, after year. Oh, yeah, I bet. You know, they, it's, it's a really great collaboration that, that we have, so. So maybe talk a little bit more about, um, you know, all the value it brings to our community and all yeah. the different, you, know, yeah. you touched on it, but maybe talk yeah, a little there, bit there's more a, Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, not just the, uh, the restaurants, not just the hotels that are completely booked, but um, you know, in our mercados, the the vendors are nonprofit organizations, so okay. we support nonprofit organizations within those mercados, and a lot of them report that that's their biggest fundraiser of the year. Mm. Um, so, and and I mentioned with the, with the dance studios that are just prevalent throughout town, yeah. you know, the musicians. It really is a, a cottage industry um, that brings a lot of tourism. A, a lot of dollars to, to Santa Barbara and Santa Barbara County. So it's great to have the partnership and be recognized by the city and, and really everybody who's, who's uh, part, part of what we do here at Old Spanish Days. Gosh, do you, do you have any, I've heard big numbers before, but do you have an estimate of how many people come during that time period, how many visitors we have? You know, we, we're, we're putting the finishing touches on our, our latest ec economic impact report, and I hopefully it'll include a lot of that data. But what I've heard is there are 100, over 100,000 people that take in that parade on Fiesta Friday alone. Oh, along golly. Along the streets, uh, taking that in, over 100,000 people. So you can, that kind of gives you a number. So that's the, sign that's the Friday uh, signature event, but over the course of over time, we've I've heard numbers of fifty thousand people passing through the mercados each day. Gee whiz! So yeah, it's it's uh, it brings a lot of people to the town, uh, and it has been for you know, like I said, this is ninety six years. So it's a beloved, beloved tradition. Well, and haven't I heard it's the largest equestrian parade in what in the state and at country? least the Western United States. The Western United yeah, States. Yeah, so you know, it. I've heard I've heard that, but it it brings together over. 500 horses or so. Yeah, and I see, I've heard six, I've heard four. Yeah, it's, yeah. and it's, it's magnificent, and people just love it. It's, it's Fiesta Friday is almost a holiday here in, in, yeah. in town. And, yeah. Um, yeah, we're already putting, planning, th planning the, the parade this year, so that's, that's in the works. Oh, gosh, that yeah. is great. So what else do you want to tell us about the old Spanish days? Well, it's just if, if you are interested in learning more, you can go to our website. We have mm -hmm. an active social media presence. You know, that highlights a lot of our stories and, and videos. And then we've got a lot of great events in early spring. I think people think of this as the five-day festival. Sure. But we start out with um, the Spirit of Fiesta auditions, which is mm. one of my favorite days of the year. So you pro uh, 20 young dancers from uh, all over the, uh, the, the county come and compete for the title of uh, Spirit and Junior Spirit of Fiesta. Oh. And it's just magnificent. During the auditions, the families are there. The, it's just electric. It, it, it uh, really rattles the, the whole auditorium. So that's really neat. And then we get going into spring with what we call La Primavera, which has history way back in, in town. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where all we unveil the poster and the pin and, and really, oh. really kind of kick off Fiesta yeah. season. And then that is one of our fundraising events. It's a great one to, to come to. Just get your feet wet and get started. And then it kind of progress, uh, you know, once a month. We go out to Goleta for Goleta Ranchera, mm -hmm. partnering with the Stowe House. And sure. uh, the, the city of Goleta now recognizes it as a, a Fiesta Day and Fiesta Week. So we okay. go out to the, the, there. So that's a really neat event at the beautiful Stowe House in, in June. July, we start with the costume sale, which we can go ahead and get Fiesta ready. Because a, a lot of it is, you know, the pageantry is, is based on dress and dance yeah, and song. Yeah. 
So that's a fun one. And so there are a lot of events. It's not just Fiesta Week, but there's a lot of things to take in, get involved uh, uh, well before uh, that uh, moon rises over the August. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gosh. So I bet you've got a story or two to tell us about what you've seen over your years. You know, it's, I have a, a, quite a few stories, but most of it's just, it's just so beautiful. You know, the, my favorite part is it's something that my wife and I have bonded over. Um, That's nice. You know, it's, it's really something that we've, we've connected. Um, we started going to a couple events, and we look back now, you know, 10, 15 years ago with our starter, starter outfits. <laughs> and, and then what we did is uh, we, we were involved for a little bit before we got on the board, but it wasn't too much. But then we started adding one event each year, you know, taking in just, just something else. And there's a lot of events, not necessarily uh, official fiesta events, but there's there's things that you can take in. The yeah. historical society, historical yeah, society. they host yeah. a great event. That's one of the early ones we went. Yes, Sorry they for do. slipping yeah, on that. Yeah. But, so there, there's a lot of a lot of things uh, to take in. So yeah, we started uh, little by little, and now we have a full plate, as you can oh imagine. Gosh, yeah. So this is going to be a full year. And uh, one of the neat things uh, that we did this year, we were able to go to Spain and see the uh, Feria of Sevilla, wow. the, which is it's just ex extraordinary. It, the, the whole town of Sevilla just closes up for a week and everybody's on horseback and they have their tents and there's, and you think if we dress up, they dress up, everybody in the whole town dresses oh up. Oh my so gosh. It was really neat to see the, you know, the color and the pageantry and, and get a glimpse of what they do in hopes of taking some of it back to, uh, to this year's uh, theme and, and poster and kind of, uh, direction. So yeah. yeah, that was a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, w my wife and I have had a lot of fun and we've met some great people. Mm -hmm. The volunteers that put in so many hours, oh, yeah. the, the board of directors, the, it's just a, an incredible group of people, a broad cross section of our community. Oh, that is great. So if somebody wants to maybe be a board member or, yeah. you know, in any role at all, they could find that out on your website as well. Yeah, it's, you know, it takes over a thousand volunteers to put it on. We, Over we have a thousand. yeah we have parade marshals that are volunteers just mm -hmm. for the d day to put on mm -hmm. you know to keep the crowds and there are a lot of opportunities to work not be, if you don't want to be on the board but you just want to volunteer some time or or be a part of it yeah sbfiesta.org has has all that yeah. information so let's say that now this year's fiesta the one coming up yep. is over oh and now you're saying you and your wife are saying oh man this is the best fiesta we've ever seen, <laughs> we've ever had, beyond our wildest dreams. Yeah. What made it so wonderful? Well, how is it going to be different, do you think? You know, it's everyone takes on its own flavor. Um, but you're just being smack dab in the middle of it, I think, is going to have a, di a different taste to it. Yeah. Uh, but, right. um, you know, just the joy of the community, um, you know, the real inner engagement with the community, you know, the press absolutely love and cover yeah. Old Spanish Days with the beautiful photography and videos. Um, so, you know, we want to be uh, good f uh, financial fiscal stewards too and, true, true. you know, and have that component too, but also ha have fun and, and bring the joy and excitement up front and really convey that message that, you know, we are a nonprofit organization, we help other nonprofit organizations, yeah. and we really impact this community and, and have been for, for quite a while. Gosh, Eric, I can tell you're going to have so much fun, <laughs> and we are going to be so lucky to have you in the El Presidente. Well, thank it's going to be a fabulous fiesta. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, that's great. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it immensely. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you again for having me on and for your support of local nonprofits throughout yes. Santa Barbara. Yes, thank you for all you do, and thanks for being on 805 Focus. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us today on 805 Focus, and we will see you next time.